And now for the broadcasting favourite, Jeanne de Cassilis. But there's something here that you can't get from a record or from broadcasting. This is one of her Mrs. Feather sketches, and it's a very involved telephone conversation, remotely concerned with Dig for Victory. But watch her hands. They're very funny. Were those? Is that the seeds and bulbs, people? Oh, I, um, I ordered some letters and creepuses, um, um, creepers and uh, lettuces. I particularly asked you for quick risers, spring being so much earlier this year, but I'm really most dissatisfied with the goods you've sent me. What's wrong with them? Well, everything's wrong with them. They're not rising, they're sinking. Did I put them where? In whose bed? No, I didn't put them in anyone's bed. At least not the creeper. You told me he'd do better up against a wall. Well, he's been there for over a week and the result is most disheartening. Yes, I don't know what kind of creeper he is, but he's a kind that doesn't creep. And the gentleman who sold him to me told me he was a particularly fast creeper. He said it had won a prize it crept so fast. He even said it had got into trouble for exceeding the seed limit. The seed, the lim, the, yeah, what? Is it a little red plant with thorns? No. It's pale green and it sags. It sags badly. It's not a creeper? What is it then? A lettuce. Good heavens, do you think I could have got them mixed? Oh, <laughs> that would be very unlike me, I'm sure. Yes, well, of course, it would explain quite a lot. I mean, the salad would naturally refuse to creep up the wall. You couldn't blame it. <laughs> uh, did I put the creeper where? In an open bed? You suggesting it would be more likely to creep if it got into a bed that was open? It wouldn't. Well, it didn't. No, 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 Withers. Excuse me. It started sagging long before there was any question as to what sort of bed it would occupy. Yes. Well, at any rate, I've scratched them all up and posted them back to you. Perhaps you could uh, ginger them up in some way for me. But you understand, don't you, they're no use to me as long as they're in that condition. They only spoil the look of the garden and depress all the other plants. Now, um, with us, I have a little empty corner in my garden, and Edgar, that's my husband, <laughs> he thought that a nice young bean would be a good idea. Now, have you a young bean you could recommend? I mean, one that would be full of beans very quickly. You have all sorts of beans, of course. French. And broad, yes. How were uh, French? Um, how were uh, broad? No, I mean, do they differ much in width? About as broad as they're long. Yes. You suggest what? Withers Colossus? Who's he? He's your bean. A certain prize winner. Well, I don't know that that means very much Withers. I mean, the uh, creeper was a champion, and you know how weak he turned out. Yes. I don't think I'll risk it somehow. No, I'll just have a couple of little pansies. Yes, they look so pretty and they give no trouble. Oh, and now, is there anything else that you can suggest with us? <laughs> you suggest what? A raspberry. Oh, but you gave me one last year, you know. You think it's time I had another. Very well, just send it along with the other things. <laughs> My name? You'll find it on your books if you look it up. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.